Okay, so we just got checked in here um, at our spot with Dolphin Jet Tours, Dolphin Jet Boat Tours for the whale watching. And we got a few minutes to spare, so everybody decided to go in and do a little shopping here across the street. And then we'll be coming back and getting ready to uh, go try to find some whales. I've spotted a whale tail right there in the distance. Maybe you can see it. Carnival Legend Whale Tail. <laughs> anyway, so we'll get back to you and see what happens. All right. Yep. It's right on top of the whale's head. And so it's kind of like a nostril. So when they come up, they exhale a uh, huge spout. It's all that exhale. Well, here we are on the front deck of the whale watching boat. There's our captain taking care of us. And now we just need some whales. Bring it on. There it is, one o'clock. Beauty. Oh yeah, that's a good one. We got a tail. Boom. King Crab Shack's right there. We thought about going there, but we do want to go down and check out the uh, Red, Dog, Red Dog Saloon. Bunch of little stores, some souvenirs, and really pretty reasonably priced. Thought it might be more of a ripoff, but it really wasn't, I gotta be honest. Here's an example, clothing. Souvenirs, you know, the usual stuff. Big bears. Jewelry. Fudge Company. I Sounds like a treat. Yeah. All right, let's keep rolling, rolling. Yeah. It's 
So there you have it. Walking down the main street here in Juneau. Heading to the uh, Red Dog Saloon. And there it is. Red Dog Saloon. Oh, here's shopping at the Red Dog. back from uh, a day in Juno and we did a whale watching which was great a little shopping here um, we're gonna eat here like in Fort Japan this is so crazy expensive when right there is an amazing ship full of food at really no charge let's see my cabin looks like uh, we left the lights on oh well uh, back to the legend Mendenhall Glacier. Here's where you first walk in. Here's some bus stops for the tours. There's the glacier far in the background. There's a visitor center up. There's an elevator to get to it or stairs. And there's a nice trail all the way to the waterfall and the glacier. Welcome to the glacier. We're taking the path down to the waterfall. Looks like it's stroller friendly. <laughs> All right, here's our little map. All right, what we have here is Brett Hazy getting ready for the polar bear plunge. Oh. <laughs> he has to go change for this because he didn't put his suit on beforehand. So Brett has gone into the bushes. <laughs> the elusive Brett in his natural habitat behind the tree. I'm not sure if we can see anything yet. I don't know where he went. All right, we'll wait for him to come out and change. But the idea here is that we're gonna be going in by the waterfall. It's gonna be a lot of coldness. The glacier is ahead of us, showing the deep blues from the bottom. Some pieces have recently cracked off and are floating out in the lake. Quite lovely. Iceberg right ahead, edge of it. Fabulous little creek down here. Leading to the bathing area for Brett and myself. The glacier is much larger than expected. Much larger. All right, we're rolling up on the waterfall. You can hear it now, blasting down the mountain. Just to the right, I would say the starboard side of the walk. Should be able to see it now. Some new friends. Yeah. All right. Got some Brits. Some Brits on the trail, right? Yeah. Lovely. Moving about 10,000 gallons a minute right there. Not too bad. A 
fresh glacier water. Maxwell, I'd like to see what you think about this waterfall. As you can see, this is a pretty epic waterfall. We got some nice icebergs floating out there, freshly cracked off, and a whole bunch more. Lovely. We are going to have the experience of being right here at the waterfall. of St. Therese in Juneau. We're gonna take this little path down. Dog friendly. hanging out at the chapel. We are at Eagle Beach, the local swimming hole. 
this is officially the end of a road. Highway 7. Of Highway 7. There are no more roads in Alaska. This is it. Okay.